Hi, I'm Zyveria Simmons and I'm here at the Perez Art Museum in Miami. I'm so happy to be here and I'm presenting two works in the exhibition Poetics of Relation, showing um, Super Unknown, which is a piece that I produced in 2010. And I'm also um, doing a site-specific work called The Lushness Of, which is a text-based sculptural work. When I think about migration, I think about the fact that we all are migrants in different ways. There's, there's, there's migrants that came um, against their will and there are people who come here for different other reasons to have better opportunities financially or politically. So for me, migration is kind of like the state of being an American in a way. You know, I'm a very contemporary artist and that contemporary artists these days are very nomadic and I travel and, and, and travel is probably one of the most important things that I do um, because it exposes me to obviously different cultures and customs and foods and, and people but also like um, I think travel helps you to be excited about mystery. I collect, I, I don't know, I've, I realized that like my whole project or all of my a lot of my work has to do with collecting and then reinterpreting things with super unknowns I started collecting these JPEGs and I started to become interested in boats of people in mid-migration it's interesting that this was produced in 2010 and here we are in 2015 and it's really coming to a head although this has been happening you know for decades. I hope it adds another layer to the conversation that we're having now, um, especially as far as migrants who are capsizing all over the globe at this point, you know, and, and just bringing awareness to that or having people have conversations about it with the lushness of. It's really thinking about language as cinematic, so it's collecting from film sources, from uh, conversations, from literature from texts and magazines and sort of but with an idea in mind with an idea of building a, a space or a landscape when I make these works I kind of uh, start with an idea of a feeling so for this piece uh, there's a lot of feeling around the color blue and then and then ocean and, and, and then it opens up from there and the language is all intentional. Each word is connected to the other. I tend to think of my practice as like a jazz musician where you have the spine and then you improvise after, but you definitely build the spine. I've been using more than one language in my work for the past couple years. So for me personally, I speak English with a little French and I understand some Spanish, right? But if I'm thinking about, this is a 60 foot wall by 16, that's a lot of real estate inside of a space. How can I also um, engage people who speak Spanish or people who speak some English but speak primarily Creole? Like how can I open up my own practice to engage their mind. I don't know, it's complicated. Working with different languages is kind of like trying to get the, the, the most succulent nectar out of, out of each word. That's the best way I can describe it. To confess a fascination with distant thunderstorms, even on the ocean, in the same way the light of one moment is never the same as the light of the preceding moment during the first strong wind at dawn. At the water's edge, wind blew in the tide of blue where the sea foam blew towards the smell of the salt breeze in the south and of the sound of bluebirds. Bluebirds hunt the water's edge.